One day after Comey's testimony, Trump announces what badass job he just gave Gowdy, if you've been following the media coverage of just about anything in Washington lately, you've probably noticed the Republican from South Carolina with the thick southern drawl and fiery forthright personality. There may be some injustices that get past Trey Gowdy, but they don't do it without a fight. Despite his only representing the one district in South Carolina, many conservatives have considered his opinions on issues that happen behind the closed doors of Congress to be the litmus test for their honesty and support of conservative values. Gowdy purposefully removed himself from the short list as replacement for James Comey as director of the FBI, and while he didn't give all of his reasons, it's safe to assume that he saw enough of what Comey was going through after his removal from office to have a good idea of what the job would entail. Still, this made many conservatives disappointed because we would love to see someone with his apparent moral integrity and straightforward nature in a position of more power. That wish came true today when word got out that Trey Gowdy would indeed be given more power, and possibly become one of the most powerful politicians in the United States House of Representatives. Via The Atlantic, Republican Rep. Trey Gowdy, who is best known for leading a contentious congressional investigation into the 2012 Benghazi terror attack, is poised to become the new chair of the House Oversight and Government Reform Committee. House Republicans on the GOP Steering Committee tapped Gowdy on Thursday to take over as chairman of the panel, which serves as the primary investigative committee in the House of Representatives. I am grateful to the steering committee and the conference as a whole for this opportunity to serve, Gowdy said in a statement. I look forward to working alongside the other committee members, as well as any members of Congress. Gowdy would replace Republican Rep. Jason Chaffetz, who announced in May that he would step down from Congress at the end of June. Taking over as chair of the committee will put Gowdy in a familiar role, and back in the spotlight following his tenure as the chairman of the House Select Committee set up to investigate Benghazi. Chaffetz has faced fierce criticism from liberal detractors who argue he has neglected the committee's responsibility to probe the vast potential for conflicts of interest created by President Trump's sprawling business empire. During a town hall in Utah earlier this year, an angry crowd confronted Chaffetz with chance of do your job. Gowdy will have a chance to shake up the leadership and management of the committee and steer its future direction under the Trump presidency, but may face pressure, or pushback, from members of his own party not to intensify scrutiny of the White House. Gowdy, a former prosecutor, worked to cast the Benghazi investigation in a nonpartisan light. The investigation became the subject of intense controversy and criticism most notably when House Majority Leader Kevin McCarthy suggested in 2015 that the panel had been used to score political points against Hillary Clinton. Everybody thought Hillary Clinton was unbeatable, right, he said during an interview. But we put together a Benghazi special committee, a select committee. What are her numbers today? Her numbers are dropping. In announcing his resignation, Chaff Fetz said little about his next steps though he has reportedly told other Republicans he expects to join Fox News. The full House Republican conference is expected to confirm the decision to make Gowdy the Oversight Committee chair next week. While I'd be the last person to knock the importance of a person who reports the news, I can't say that most would put it up there as a job with equal importance to lawmaking. I guess though in this case, we should be happy that Chaff Fetz has decided to follow his bliss and make way for the new pumped up and ready to serve generation of lawmakers who plan to do their jobs with the zeal that they deserve. While Trey Gowdy may not be as experienced as some in the United States House, his track record shows that he's like a dog with a bone when he believes the truth to be evading him. I guess that background in criminal prosecution will probably come in handy when he's questioning his Democratic counterparts about some of their shenanigans. Source, The Atlantic Share if you think Trey Gowdy is a great choice for this position. Please do not forget like on videos, and subscribe, and comment because your voice matters, and visit our page on Facebook, and like them, and follow up. And thanks for watching.